here we are estimating uh, a fraction and we're told to write each number correct to one significant figure. To be honest, that basically means make them as simple as you can, but let's talk through the process of rounding to one significant figure. Because sometimes you might be asked to estimate using two significant figures. Um, so we look at the first significant figure and we decide, do I round it up or keep it the same? The six is followed by a zero, so I'm gonna keep the six the same. I need to put zeros in to show my place value. For the 0 0.312, it's not the zero that's the first significant figure, it's the first non-zero number, so it's the three, because otherwise you end up rounding to zero and you know that's not very meaningful. Um, so do I keep my do I round my three up or keep it the same? I'm gonna keep it the same, and this time I, I don't write any zeros after it because they're not really important for the place value side of things because they're after the decimal place. Finally, I've got 19.93. I'm gonna, I've got the one, I'm gonna round that up to 20. Okay, the next little trick I need is to do decimal multiplication. And this can be done, you can, it's a really nice way of doing it. You can basically divide one of the things by 10, so that will give me 60, and times this one by 10. It's like I'm swapping them around a little bit. Um, I'm just, all I'm doing really is uh, writing it as 60 times 10 and then doing 10 times 0 0.3 to give me 3. But, you know, sometimes it, 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 it's, um, I, didn't, I didn't bother writing that down anyway. Okay, I'm now divided by 20 and now I can divide both top and bottom by 10. Give me 6 times 3, which is 18, divided by 2. So the answer is 9.